The Super Bowl essentially is between one Smith and Neil, with all the other Smiths standing on and watching, like a kind of football crowd. In this day and age to, to do a hybrid film of live action and, and visual effects, you gotta be able to do some shots in camera. Because of the nature of some of the shots that had to be done, I'm saying, where really you would be concentrating on Keanu and Hugo fighting, and it's raining. In the background, you had to have Smith, you know, many, 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 many Smiths. But you wouldn't want to have to put them in every shot as a visual effect. So I said one day, well, why don't we make a whole of, you know, rubber Smiths up? And they looked at me like I was completely mad. We uh, went through a variety of ideas and eventually arrived at some pretty photorealistic dummies. Hugh and Peter Weibel want to put so much effort into getting the right moulds and doing the right work on the faces. They were really like Hugo. They were pretty successful and turned out so much better than it seemed like we were going to be able to do it at the beginning. We've got to do a cast of yeah, this that. one, yeah. and we're going to do this one again. Now, and this one a little bit more, a little more meaner. There are three different models. There's grumpy, there's happy, and there's neutral. And they made more neutrals than they made grumpies and happies. Just neutral. Three head impressions of Hugo Weaving. What we'll be doing is a combination of um, pages with masks as well as um, dummies, 100 dummies and 50 masks to be worn by actors. They did a number of different uh, tryouts, a number of different materials to make the to make the, the mask and to try and get the right tone. That was the original one we made. That's a hard resin. So is this one. The reaction was it looked too it looked too hard. So we've since then made some out of silicon rubber. The purpose of um, doing a silicon skin is that when the lights are on this, the silicon skin will glow. Like, like human flesh, and the rain also sits differently in it. It, was just, it just runs off, whereas on the fiberglass head, the rain just tends to sit there. They've also got my body as well on hands, and put hands in gel, and they've wrapped my body up in plaster bandages, uh, and I stood there for like hours, and you know, so this is me. <laughs> So after it's been painted, we'll send that off to the, the um, hair and makeup. And we'll put a wig on it. It's been an interesting project because this scene that we're doing, I don't think has ever been done before. I don't think anything like it has been done before. We're cutting 182 wigs. We've had all the wigs handmade. They're all hand tied. They're going to be standing in the pouring rain, which makes a, you know, throws another element into uh, what we have to think about or how we're thinking about doing these wigs. They have to endure heavy rain and they can't get messed up. That's the trick. We actually put silicone on the hair, so we kept up that little front, which gives him that Smith look. They had to make a wig for me because all my uh, doubles were uh, standing there beautifully with their hair staying up in the rain, but my hair in the rain, even with the massive amount of hairspray, started to just fall down on my face. That's how crazy it got. Our department have worked out an elaborate system of keeping everyone warm, keeping everyone dry. Yeah, it's a major collaboration between the art department, props department, and costume, getting everybody looking the same. 60 masks, 60 corresponding weeks. You know, you have to multiply everything by 100. You know, there's 100 left hands, right hands, feet, shoes, ties, tie pins, cufflinks. It's a big challenge because of 
the intensity of the rain all the time. It's hard to be in the rain every day for 15 hours. I seem to recall having 80 humans and 150 fiberglass dummies, which the art department made up and they were fantastic because they were all dimensionally perfect. It was it was easy to deal with them. The It was the 80 humans, they're all 6'2", but they're so different and some had long torsos, some were all legs, some had extremely sloping shoulders. Larry and Andy wanted to do a tracking shot and everybody's shoulder points had to meet. And at the moment we have a whole team of dummies. This we'll have a row of 51, and then another row of 51, and then a row of 50 or 51 extras. We will also be wearing Hugo moving our Agent Smith look like masks, and then we'll be uh, training them on how to use the mechanism and left right turns and nods and what have you. They all have handles in the back, which are operated by one extra. It operates two Hugos, turning the heads or tilting the heads and turning. This is the repair station. With the turning of the heads, there's a lot of wear and tear on the necks, and the paint tends to rub and lift a bit, so we have to repaint and seal the necks. The silicon paint that we use takes a day to fully dry before we put them back into the neck mechanisms. It's awesome. I hope we even wear we this skin tight wetsuit. It's, you can't even move, it cuts the circulation off your arms because of the, the water. It's, piling down the biggest storm you've ever seen in your life and we're in this mask that we can't get out of all day. But it's all in good fun. They're quite disconcerting, right? <laughs> even to Hugo. The communists? No! <laughs> yeah, even Mr. Weaving himself got a bit spooked when he saw himself replicated many times. Same. Everyone is the same. Hugo's been very good. He's he's um, been very happy to have his head moulded and and uh, I think he loves looking at all these guys. You love me? <laughs>